Hello everyone, thank you very much to Scott for having me here on the Simpletivity channel. It is so good to be back. I'm going to be doing a feature today all about Thingstory and how you can use the project management functions to coordinate your own personal projects, which is quite exciting. For those who don't know, my name's Francesco. I run a YouTube channel called Keep Productive here on YouTube, and I do reviews on productivity apps and resources. It's very much a complimentary channel to Simpletivity and vice versa. Scott will be doing a video over on my channel all about Trello power-ups, which I'm really, really excited about posting. So without further ado, guys, let's dive over to the laptop and explore things three for project management. <laughs> Now, in today's video, I wanted to dive into Things 3. Now, this is an application available on Mac, OS, and iOS. It's really for Apple lovers. It's a simple to-do list application. But what I wanted to talk about specifically is the project side of stuff. The, obviously, you can only share personal projects here. You can't share it with other people. But I think it's a great and great visual application for planning out a new project. And I wanted to dive into what that exactly means, how you can get started with it, and a little bit more about the application. So guys, we have Things 3 in front of us. I'm obviously viewing the Mac OS version. It's only available on that one at the moment. Uh, of course, uh, if you're a Windows lover, it's a bit of a shame. So what we have on this left-hand panel, uh, we have a new list section. So you can do two core things inside of uh, the actual Things 3 list building, is you can create a new project, which is a time-based project, which is quite exciting, um, which we'll be talking about in a moment, and areas, which is a group of projects or to-dos uh, based on a responsibility. I've already created two. I've created work and uh, personal, so obviously that tends to be a lot of people's situations, although there are tons that you can create, and there are some great examples out there. If you go on social media, Twitter, and just find out how people are using this, it's really extensive. So let's go ahead and create a project. Let's say uh, a kayaking event, kayaking activity. So we're looking to go kayaking uh, next month. I think, <laughs> by, by the sounds of it. If we scroll this one down and drag it under personal, now that becomes a personal project under the area personal. You can do that with the same. So for example, you could create a project for work. So for example, I could say uh, conference. I always go with conference as my demo project. I'm gonna drag it down to work. If I just pop it in work, it appears there. So you can add as many projects as you'd like to the different area section, which is something a lot of people love inside of this application. So if I go kayaking, you can see here, it's a very simple project. Uh, you can see here that it looks like a task, but it's actually not. Here is a pie chart. We'll be showing you this near the end. It's a, it's a pie chart for the completion of a task. So once a task is completed, you can actually see it be full. But for example, if you've added all your projects, the tasks to this project, you can see this partially fill. So for example, if you're getting planned and organized, this can be a great way to visualize what you've got left and how much you have left. So let's go into the options, the project options. You have a host of different options. You've got complete project. So complete project will allow you to complete the project and now go into your logbook. Your logbook is accessible in this left-hand panel. But the great thing is you can actually complete a project. Inside of Todoist and some other applications, you've only got the ability to archive a project, which is a bit of a shame. But again, it's something that uh, this, you know, is a bonus of Things 3. You can add a when date to it. So, for example, uh, let's say we were going uh, a very cold 10th of November kayaking. As you can see, the actual project disappears in, from the actual personal section. It turns into into upcoming. So if you don't want it to turn into uh, actually appear in upcoming, you can add a deadline to it instead. So for example, let's say we want to add the 10th of November to it uh, and actually remove the when of the task. It should appear back in this personal area. And that's because once you've assigned it to there, you've given it a, a fixed date, whereas this is a deadline. Uh, and actually you can still use it as a project it just becomes uh, less accessible through the personal area section. So let's just explore a few more of the benefits you can have. So you can add when, a deadline. You can add tags to this project. So for example, you could say uh, fitness and add a tag to it. So when you are searching stuff, you can actually find it. So for example, if you had multiple fitness ones, you could click in this area and actually filter down, which is very helpful. So we also have move, so you can move it to work, for example, or another area. 
you can repeat so you can actually repeat an entire project so this is like a, if it's like a monthly event and you plan for it uh, i don't know what it could be could be a newsletter for your website um then you could have a week uh, a sort of monthly ta ta tailing a monthly uh, plan and obviously add all of the tasks in here now you can duplicate a project which is quite easy to do you can actually delete it and share it but again the sharing abilities aren't great now as you can see here you've got notes um, and down here you can sort of go crazy and what I recommend for a lot of people when they're starting personal projects is to use this button down here which is the heading area. This is something that Todoist doesn't have where well, it has it but it has it in this really strict format thing which I don't necessarily like. So for example I'm going to put planning here and I'm going to add another one uh, called the day. So. I'm going to drag that one down there. So you can see here that these are movable, archivable, removable, all from there. And once I create a to-do, it opens up into this lovely, beautiful panel in which I can add notes to, I can add a date to, uh, tags, checklists themselves. So for example, in the planning process, maybe when we're planning for the kayaking, I can call the sports center. Um, and in my notes, I'm going to put ask for two kayaks to rent and I'm going to put this one on the task list for Wednesday and as you can see you can add checklists if you want and even a deadline now if I drag this and I put it under planning it is neatly organized under there which is lovely and uh, of course I haven't completed anything yet so you can see that this this pie chart still open but we'll be demonstrating how that works in a minute so we're going to put a, uh, a an invite list send invite list out and I'm going to add a tag to it. For example, I'm going to put uh, easy because that's going to be quite easy apparently to do. <laughs> and I'm going to give it a due date of Friday. So I'm going to drag that one down there. This is all part of the planning process. And then I'm going to put, for example, in the day, I'm going to put uh, uh, pick up, pick up all team members. And I'm going to drag that one down there. And as you can see, it's actually added the Friday to it. But I'm going to give it another day. And I'm actually going to put that on the day of completion. So you can see here, you can start building a lovely outline of a personal project here. Or it can be work, whatever you want. But as you can see, it's a great way to do it. If you wanted to, you could add in a few details about the event up here, which makes it really accessible. Now, let's say today I got the call center thing done. Uh, I called the sports center. As you can see up here, what's been updated quite nicely is the pie chart or the completion of the projects. And you can see a nice outline of exactly when it's been completed. And that task disappears. You can even see the logged item below and when you did it, which is quite exciting. Um, and of course, uh, the actual header that it was under. So if you're looking for a great way to coordinate a project in personal situations, this could be your best bet. As you can imagine, Things 3 is a bit of an investment. It's $49.99. So if you're looking for something that is super duper simple, but provides enough access, this could be your bet. Again, it's worth the investment. Anyway, guys, hopefully that gave you a nice outline of everything. As you can imagine, once you click Upcoming, you can actually see the tasks and the project linked to it. Anyway, guys, hopefully that gave you a nice outline of Things 3. I will hopefully be doing more videos on this very soon over on my channel. I've done a Skillshare course on it recently, so you can definitely check that one out. Anyway, guys, a big thank you to Scott for having me here on the channel. Please do join me on the Keep Productive YouTube channel, and feel free to subscribe to Simpletivity, the awesome channel over on YouTube. Anyway, guys, big thanks for stopping by today. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.